Hello all. Today uh, I'll be presenting our third frequent address mine, mining algorithm, which is also known as ECLAT. Okay, and here uh, we'll be looking at uh, how in this algorithm they are using the concept of vertical data format. Okay, so the name is ECLAT. The full form of which is equivalence class transformation. All right. So here also we will be mining our frequent item set, and it is a depth first search technique algorithm, and it will be using the concept of set intersection. In our set theory, we have all understood what is intersection. Okay, so we'll apply that concept in this particular algorithm. And then here also we will have a list. It is called uh, your TID transaction ID list, and it will contain an item set now now this was our regular database format okay so in this format we see that uh, we have here in this corner we in the first column we have the transaction ID that means this is the transactions that we have and each of the transactions what are the different item sets okay so in our past two algorithms that we have seen that is your a priori and FP tree we have dealt with this kind of database and from here we have done item set frequent item set mining okay so that is our normal horizontal data format and uh, in this one we will change the format a bit slightly so earlier it was called the, uh, those formats were under the category horizontal data format and out here we will change it into uh, our vertical data format all right so here you'll see that our <coughs> TID that means the transaction ID has come this side and will be listing out items like this okay so our first column is items so you can see that uh, all the items which are here previously all right that is the individual rows okay these are the uh, items and these are the TID list that means transaction 10 20 that means if you look at the first row you'll see that item A is existing in uh, transaction ID 10 and transaction ID 20 and because we are changing the uh, data format from horizontal to vertical this particular al algorithm is known as vertical data format algorithm okay because we are changing the format to this vertical alignment all right so now here so our um, format is changing and so here it means te the the transaction id list of e e is your item so e item is present in three transactions t10 t20 and so this is how we will write it similarly ta list of transaction id holding a item is t10 and t20 okay and to find to mine a frequent item set we have to find the intersection so if we have to find the intersection of these two we will write it like this intersection ae will be uh, all the transaction which have common a and common e that means t10 and t20 all right so this is how we are going to get our frequent item sets all right so uh, this kind of concept is implemented here then we have uh, when we look at this TID list then the next thing is the properties now properties like because this is very similar to our set theory so properties are also very common so here we have TID of X is equal to TID of Y which means that they both are equivalent equivalent means X and Y these items always happen together that means uh, this uh, items I mean the transaction containing A and C is same as transaction containing item D okay so when they are same we say that they are equivalent and similar to the next one you can see this symbol this is a subset symbol so we say that TID list of X is a subset of TID list of Y when uh, a transaction having X always have Y whatever the transaction that we're holding Y uh, will also hold X so in that case we say that it is a subset these are the properties of TID list which we have to talk about after the definition of the uh, format vertical format okay so <clears throat> so the and here we are uh, as we have discussed earlier that the mining of frequent item sets happens uh, derived is being derived frequent pattern is being derived using the concept of vertical intersection you've seen how we find the intersection of two items okay so that way we'll end up with our frequent pattern that is how we will find our uh, frequent item set so and by calculating the intersection 
vertical intersection okay so that is one method now this method is further simplified by using the concept of diff set now very simple difference here in vert, uh, out, in out here we were finding the intersection okay we were finding the intersection we've seen what things what transactions are common and then we list it out so that sometimes may um, may take a little bit more time and space so in order to avoid uh, that i mean to properly judiciously use time and uh, space we uh, shift from into finding intersection we don't find intersection but we find difference so when we do that instead of finding intersection we find difference we say we are cal we are using the concept of diff set diff set is difference difference means something like minus okay and that when we do it accelerates it speeds up our mining process and it uh, saves our time and space all right now <coughs> we have to keep track of differences now okay what not the intersection but the difference now the this example makes it very clear that what how to calculate the difference okay so te we know that these are the transaction the same uh, list of transaction containing te and here this is list of transaction containing uh, this is the inter this t uh, tce okay this is the transaction containing c and intersection tc so 10 and 30 all right, so these are the two sets, sets of TID. Now, when you have to find diff set, mind you, this is diff set, not intersection, diff set of these two sets, what we are going to do is we will not take out those transactions which are intersecting, which are common, but we will take out only the, uh, the transaction that is uncommon, that is the difference, okay? So here, when you do that, when you look at it, you'll know that the diff set of these two set is not 10 30 but it is only t20 okay so if you have calculated intersection we have uh, got two transactions uh, two tids okay so here uh, diff set is only t20 so it's easy to store and easy to calculate so that is why diff set is preferred over finding intersection okay so these are the two concepts that has been used utilized in order to derive or mine frequent patterns in the algorithm and what is the name of the algorithm this is our third algorithm which is your eclat which is equivalence class transformation so it's very simple so our three algorithms are done a priori fp3 and equivalence class transform. and here always remember we utilize the concept of vertical data format and after talking about vertical data format, you have to talk about the intersection, how they use the concept of intersection and the two properties equal to and subset. And after that, uh, this intersection process can be improvised with the help of diff set. Okay, so this explains our algorithm. Thank you.